Expensive batteries last better than discount batteries? Is buying two discount batteries better than buying just one high-end one? Are the Eco Pluses Duracell in disguise? Is the Varda battery better than the Energizer battery? You will have the answer to all these questions today. It comes to 1.5V batteries, typically alkaline or zinc carbon batteries, the profitability of paying more for them depends on your specific needs and circumstances. Here are some considerations. 1. Quality and brand, higher priced batteries from reputable brands often offer better quality and performance. They may have a longer shelf life, provide more consistent power, and be less prone to leakage. If you need reliable power for your devices, especially for critical applications, investing in better quality batteries can be beneficial. 2. Longevity. Cheaper batteries may have a shorter lifespan and may need to be replaced more frequently. Higher priced batteries may last longer, reducing the long-term cost. If you use a lot of batteries, the cost of replacement can add up over time. E. Device performance. Some devices may not work optimally with lower quality batteries. High drain devices like digital cameras or some toys may benefit from higher quality batteries as they can provide more consistent and longer lasting power. Budget and frequency of use. Your budget and how often you use batteries are significant factors. If you use batteries infrequently, cheaper options may suffice. However, if you use batteries frequently, investing in higher quality, longer lasting batteries can be more cost effective over time. Batteries, such as those commonly used in household devices and electronics, provide direct current, DC, voltage, which remains relatively stable. For a battery, the voltage is typically specified as its nominal voltage, which is the average voltage it provides during its normal discharge cycle. Common nominal voltages for batteries 1.5V for alkaline and zinc carbon batteries, among others. These nominal voltages represent the average voltage output of the battery, which remains relatively stable during the discharge process. The actual voltage output of a battery may vary slightly, depending on its state of charge and temperature. I will classify batteries into two categories. Low-end batteries. High and high-end batteries. The test protocol used today to test a battery consists of an oscilloscope. We will start testing low-end batteries. Let's get started. We set up the oscilloscope to DC power. After that, we connect the two terminals of the battery, the positive and negative electrodes, to the terminals of the oscilloscope, where all information about the battery status will appear, such as the highest and lowest voltage, as well as the RMS status and other data. After that, we connect the ammeter and set it to the milliampere option. We also need a 10 ohm resistor that we connect in series with the ammeter. After that, we connect one end of the resistance to the battery and the end of the ammeter to the other end of the battery to produce a closed circuit, or what is called a current consuming load. The fixed time that the load will consume is 10 minutes, and this will apply to all batteries that we will test. Low-end batteries typically refer to batteries that are inexpensive and have basic specifications. These batteries are often designed for general-purpose low-demand applications and are not known for exceptional performance, longevity, or high-quality construction. Here are some characteristics and common uses of low-end batteries. Low capacity. Low-end batteries often have relatively low capacity. High-end batteries refer to batteries that are at the upper end of the price range and are known for their premium quality, advanced technology, and superior performance. These batteries are typically designed for demanding applications and critical use cases. Here are some characteristics and common uses of high-end batteries. 1. High capacity. High-end batteries often have a higher capacity, which means they can store and deliver a significant amount of electrical energy. This results in longer-lasting power. 2. Extended lifespan. These batteries are designed to have a longer lifespan compared to low-end and mid-range options. They can endure more charge and discharge cycles without significant capacity loss. 3. Advanced chemistry. High-end batteries commonly use advanced battery chemistries, such as lithium-ion or lithium polymer, which provide superior performance and energy density. 4. Premium materials. They are constructed using high-quality materials and manufacturing processes, resulting in superior reliability and durability. 5. Consistent voltage, high-end batteries offer more stable voltage output, which is crucial for devices that require consistent power, such as high-performance flashlights, professional cameras, or medical equipment. After conducting the tests, which took a very long time, 
I obtained the final result, and here I will allocate one winning battery from among all the batteries that I tested. It is Duracell 200% extra power, and it maintained its stability throughout the testing period, knowing that the other batteries are good. But according to data and tests, Duracell 200% extra strength was number one on this list. If you like the study on this topic, share it and subscribe. Give me your opinion. Did you expect this result? I will see you in the next video.